Greetings, my friends. My name is Zephyr the Jester, and today I'm going to be telling you about some cool, but quite questionable, PS4 mods. Let's get right into it, because I hate long intros. Off we go! Now here's a quick question for all of you. Do you guys like golf? Now you may be asking, Zephyr, what the fuck does Skyrim have anything to do with golf? Jazargo, do you like golf? If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or, I might not. We will see. That wasn't the question. <sighs> Welcome to Skyrim Crazy Golf. You can find this right outside of the tower, the, the Fort Greymore, and Western Watchtower, right outside of Whiterun. It should be right here. You'll be able to see it once you go down the road. But, this is going to make a giant Skyrim golf course. There is a guy standing right outside, so we're going to talk to him. Need something? Ranger, alright, I guess you don't really have much importance Sweet then. Hunting. Thank you. Now, per personally, I don't know what the point of this mod is, which is why this the video is titled Questionable. I don't really know why uh, this mod exists, but we're going to give it a shot. So, I'm going to turn my HUD on so I know, so it makes things easier for me to find. Alright, my HUD opacity is on, as you can see that little man in the middle of the screen. Uh, our little friend. So, okay, read this. To play, get an egg from the basket. The best way to strike the ball is to pick up the egg flag, run backwards, then forwards, and let go of the ball while you're moving forward. You're also going well, to use your own technique. Have fun. <laughs> Stupid! That is not what I wanted to do. Alright, so I guess the chores eggs are going to serve as the golf balls. Alright, so we have our golf ball here. Play it where it lands. Yeah. And there you go. You're playing golf in Skyrim. Sven, what the fuck are you doing? Still here. I know you're there. Why are you there? Watch this. True skill incarnate. Alright, so my golf ball stopped right there. So we are gonna go... Oh, that's a hole. A little bit of lag there. Go in. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I have n absolutely no idea what this guy's brain was cooking up when he actually made this mod. But honestly, I'm quite glad that he did because it's a very goofy mod. But I mean, like, it's a very nice mod nonetheless. So definitely give it a shot if you want to play golf in Skyrim. Thank you, sir, for inviting us to your golf course. We will be leaving now. The next mod is called NPC Ejector Force. You can find it on the shelf right up here in the Bannered Mare and White Run. So then you just gotta learn the spell, and this is going to blow your mind. Not gonna lie, man. This spell makes NPCs fly away from you if this spell is directed at them. Seems like our first worthy adversary is Durkithis and... Yeah, what was up with your eyes there for a second, bro? Good luck, my brother. Our next worthy contestant is the fan. What if we use both hands? Will it go further? Yes, it will! Stenvar, you're up. And he's gone forever. This is a non-hostile spell that will allow you to just basically bully any of the NPCs that you come across. The lore behind this is that it is a spell that is equivalent to the Thum, but since the Thum was learned, 
the spell was lost in time and destroyed by the original owners. This spell is unhostile and will not cause any of the people to go violent ape shit on you, no matter how many times you do it. So, it's basically free reign to just... Cicero really does not want to get hit with this spell, but you're going to anyway. Come here. Very simple mod, quite questionable as to why it was made, but... I, if I had to guess, I'd say it's to move your followers out of the way when they block the doors and dungeons and houses. Especially in my case, where I have 20 of them. So, I'd say that would be my best guess. You're just not gonna report that? No. You're a terrible human being. The next mod is called the Staff of the Horker Queen, and for some unknown forbidden reason, you can purchase this magical stick at the Riverwood Trader from Lucan Valerius. It costs one dollar. So he clearly really wants to get rid of it, so we're just gonna buy this off of him. The Staff of the Horker Queen is a staff that will summon a Horker that uses frostbite magic. And it very clearly is a small horker. So we are just going to summon this man right here, and we're going to start some trouble. Let's see what he's capable of. There he goes. I have no idea what the purpose of this was. That was such a shameful performance. Now, quite honestly, I have no idea what the purpose of this mod is or why it was made. It's very questionable in its intent, and it's very, very mysterious altogether as to why somebody would make a Horker mod that shoots Frostbite out of its ass and does barely any damage. Either way, the guy's name is pretty funny, so that's kind of why I put the mod on the list. And quite frankly, it is a very questionable mod indeed. But now I have to reload because for some reason Sven got angry at me because, you know, I replaced him with a much, you know, more attractive looking male than he is. So we're unfortunately going to have to reload a save where this model does not exist. So, yeah, definitely give this mod a shot if you're looking for a goofy looking dog to follow you around and shoot ice out of its ass. I guess definitely a questionable mod if you really <laughs> if you're looking for the sus kind of mods definitely give this one a shot. Anyways, the next mod is called Keith. You can find him at the Nightgate Inn, which is located right here on the map. Keith in and of itself is a very mysterious and questionable mod from which I cannot give any uh Yeah, I can't give any explanation as to what this person is. So since Sven has unfortunately met his demise, we're going to actually take him out for a stroll. There's really no understanding as to why this person exists, why this person decided to make a 3 foot 6 Let's mannequin go. man with a very deep masculine voice. I genuinely do not understand what they decided, why they decided to give him this voice type. Let's get going. Because that is absolutely not what I expected. So, it's definitely a questionable mod, but he is a working follower, and you can do all the normal stuff as you please with him. What do you need to take? He's a perfectly working follower, and he is perfectly capable of doing anything a normal follower is able to. He's got a few unique lines of dialogue, which are mainly, I believe, from Farkas or Vilkas, so that's pretty cool. Let's go. And he does have some environmental uh, quotes that he'll say every now and then. So all in all, he's basically a normal follower, except that he's just short and made of wood. 
he's basically the Pinocchio of Skyrim if he had a testosterone level of 4 million. So I think we're just going to move on to the next mod because I genuinely don't know why this person made this mod. But, I mean, it is a funny and it's a very questionable mod, so that perfectly fits what this video is going for. So definitely give this mod a shot. I need some lights. Alright, the final mod is called Food Fight, and you're going to have to fight your way to get the spell because it's in Broken Limb Camp, which is located right here on the map. So, I'm going to do my due diligence and just say that I'm unmatched here. So I'm going to sneak through and grab the spells which I believe are in here. They are not. They gotta be in this barrel here. They are. So you'll get a couple of these that will allow you to throw a piece of beef, bread, cabbage, apples, carrots, whatever else. But anyway, that concludes today's succulent video. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, yo.